All right, guys, so this is where we're looking at putting the outdoor AC condenser. You guys can already see where that gas line's coming up out of the attic space right here, running into the gas meter. It does need to be at least three feet away from the meter overall, but we'll go ahead and probably rip up this pad that's here. It's probably about a foot and a half, maybe a two foot pad um, that's right here. Um, this is their bedroom. I would prefer keeping it closer to the gas line if we can make it all possible, but I know you guys do have that regulation where we gotta be at least three feet away. Um, but rip up the pad would probably be the best idea from here. Put down a new pad. I've already cleared that with Adia. She's good either way as long as it's done well. Um, and basically the simplest way possible is what she was mentioning. Um, that's what we're looking at. You do have a little bit of snow still running off, but we are warming up. Um, one thing I will mention too is for you, Adia, is if this does settle over time, because sometimes that will happen with the ground, we'll come back in spring supposed to be spring so we'll come back and we'll make sure everything is leveled for okay. you and reset but if you notice it moving or anything just let us know okay okay but that's gonna be roughly everything guys uh we will do the electric but i'll have you follow me on this next part so the electrical panel guys is gonna be right here for the whole house and it's it's not the greatest so we're looking at doing a sub off of this to run to that outdoor unit well that's going to be everything that we're looking at you have one access you might be able to twin some of these but i'm i'm planning on having to do a full sub um, this might change too they have a friend that might be able to put the panel inside but this is what we're working with currently so that's going to be it